Sample? Did you say chunky wrappers? Yeah. Let me see those. Oh, I know the chunky that left these chunkies. No man! I got it! Open the door, no man. I know you're in there. Hello, Jerry. What a pleasant surprise. There's nothing pleasant about it. I must have just cut the crap. You gave me fleas. I know it, and you know it. Please? <laughs> That's preposterous. How could I give you fleas? Now, if you don't mind. Oh, but I do. There's probably fleas crawling all over your little snack bar. So you have fleas. Maybe you keep your house in a state of disrepair. Maybe you live in squalor. You know, Newman, the thing about fleas is that they irritate the skin and they start to itch oh maybe you can hold out five seconds or ten maybe 15 or 20 but after a while no matter how much willpower a person may have it won't matter because they're crawling crawling on your skin up your legs up your spine up your back i'm right with Smells like one, two. <laughs> Make a wish, Norman. We've got to get back to work in three hours. <laughs> Norman! Wait! Get Kramer! I'm with people. Yeah, yeah, and thanks for inviting me. I did invite you. Your invitation must have gotten lost in the mail. <laughs> 20 bucks, are you out of your mind? Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. We got Al Jolson here. Al Jolson. Al Jolson. What the hell do I care about Al Jolson? I just soon hear you sing, Mammy. <laughs> this guy is nothing but a piece of crap. You are nothing but a piece of crap. A piece of crap. A piece of crap. I find you extremely ugly. I find you extremely ugly. Do you? You admit a foul and unpleasant odor. You admit a foul and unpleasant odor. Oh, is that right? I loathe you. I loathe you. That's it. You get out of my store. Make us. Make us. Make us. Make us. I'll make you. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Chop, chop. You are? Get the wall. I gotta take a break. Well, don't tarry. I'm behind schedule as it is. Ow. Boy. Boy. Stay back. Whoa. 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 This is the first day of the rest of my life. You. So when are you going to be able to go out? Not for a while. Kramer? Huh? Kramer? Kramer! Where are you? Kramer! Kramer! Come on, I'm in here. Come on. There you are. Uh, yeah. Hello, Newman. <laughs> Jerry? George? I demand a recess so that I can take him outside and help him regain his composure. That'll be $75. Last one. But if you want to suck the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Buford. It's the mailman. You remember the mailman, don't you? <laughs>
What took you so long? <laughs> Hello. What's this? Well, I was dropping off the calzone money for the oh. week. Um, shouldn't you be at work by now? Work? It's raining. <laughs> so? I called in sick. I don't work in the rain. You don't work in the rain. You're a mailman. Neither rain, nor sleet, nor... St it's the first one! I was never that big on creeds. <laughs> You're supposed to deliver my calzones. We had a deal. I believe the deal was that I get your calzones on my route. Well, today I won't be going on my route. Will I? Perhaps tomorrow. But I'm paying you! Yes, thank you. <laughs> What's today? It's Thursday. Really? Feels like Tuesday. Tuesday has no feel. Monday has a feel. Friday has a feel. Sunday has a feel. I feel Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, shut up to both of you. You're making me nervous. I should have gone in with him. No, you stay here in the car. I may need you. What do you need me in the car for? I might need you to get me a soda. <laughs> yeah! Come on, are you ready? Let's go! Ready for what? What's the matter with you? I just talked to you 15 minutes ago. About what? The courthouse. You gotta go with me down to the courthouse. I'm contesting the ticket today. I can't. I'm going to the doctor's later. You gotta go with me. I mean, you're, you're my alibi. You have to take the stand. Well, I can't. Well, let me remind you of something. You wouldn't even be here today if it wasn't for me and my helmet. I saved your life. You would be dead. Dead. You would <laughs> cease to exist. You'd be gone for the rest of eternity. Can you even begin to comprehend what that means? Shut up. Get my coat. Don't step on Don't step on when the cops stopped me, I told them that I was rushing home because my friend was about to commit suicide. Oh. Now, you're that friend. All we need is a reason why you were going to commit suicide. I never had an air conditioner. No, that's no reason to kill yourself. Why? It gets hot at night, you can't sleep. You ever try to sleep in a really hot room? Every night I sleep in a really hot room. I don't want to kill myself. Well, I've slept in really hot rooms, and I wanted to kill myself. No, 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 that's not going to work. Something else. I was never able to become a banker. Banker? So you're killing yourself because your dreams of becoming a banker have gone unfulfilled. You, 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 you can't live without being a banker. Yeah, yeah, if I can't be a banker... I don't want to live. You must be a banker. You must be a banker. Okay, we'll go with the banker story. <laughs> Kramer. Hello, Newman. Come on, let's go. I got the helmet. Go get the radar detector. Oh, okay, all right. I'll be back in a sec. Hey, you guys coming to my party? Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> What's this all about? Uh, we're making a trade. I'm giving him my motorcycle helmet. He's giving me his uh, radar detector. I didn't know you have a motorcycle. Well, my girlfriend had one. You have a girlfriend? I had a girlfriend. And she was pretty wild. I don't remember you with a girl. Nevertheless. This is a pretty bad deal for Kramer. You know, a radar detector's worth much more than that helmet. I think you're cheating him. Don't say anything. All right. Hey, you know you're getting gypped over here. Really? Huh. Hey, we had a deal. Are you reneging out of the deal? Are you reneging? That's a renege. Oh, stop saying reneging. Well, you're reneging. I, okay, okay, I'm not reneging. All right, give it to me. Uh, all right, let go. Let go. Go on, three. Give me that. Just give me that. Break it. Here, idiots. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. So long. <laughs> 67. Right here. Right here. Hello, Newman. Hello, Jerry. And don't forget your steamed broccoli. Hold it. Broccoli? No, and you wouldn't eat broccoli if it was deep fried in chocolate sauce. 
I love broccoli. It's good for you. Really? Then maybe you'd like to have a piece. Gladly. <laughs> Vile weed! A Kramer, isn't it? I knew it, the greasy doorknob, the constant licking of the fingers. He's hooked on the chicken, isn't he? Yes! Yes! No, please! Someone! Honey mustard! Where? I, I, I don't see it. Well, open the door, you get a better look. I don't see it. supervisor down at the post office. He's working behind this glass. I know they're talking about me. They're gonna transfer me. I know it. Two hours. Give me two hours. It's not gonna happen. All right. All right. All right, you go ahead. You go ahead. You keep it secret. But you remember this. When you control the mail, you control information. <laughs> Careful. Hawks and squirrels don't get along together. Ooh. Another interesting confrontation. This could be spicy. Yeah, George, bring them over. Uh, no, you idiot. Hawks eat squirrels. <laughs> Are we getting this? Hello, Norman. Hello, Jerry. How's Pam? Pam? What do you care? <laughs> well, <laughs> Wait a you're cool at a time like this. Why not? Because right now, I'm the only chance you've got. <laughs> oh, All right. But hear me and hear me well. The day will come. Oh, yes. Mark my words, Seinfeld. Your day of reckoning is coming when an evil wind will blow through your little play world and wipe that smug smile off your face. And I'll be there in all my glory, watching, watching as it all comes crumbling down. 